Welcome back everybody. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I like to post all sorts of homemade recipes weekly. So if you consider subscribing, be sure to click that bell notification to get all of my latest videos. Okay, today I am going to make one of my nephew's favorite cookies. These are crinkle cookies. They are delectable melt in your mouth cookies and they are so easy to make. Here's how I do it. Okay, to start here I have a large bowl and to that I'm going to be adding one box cake mix this is strawberry cake mix and if you can find the strawberry cake mix with pudding in the mix that works better i'm going to add one large egg and one eight ounce container of whipped topping now i'm going to give everything a good mix and you want to make sure you do not work with your hands with this it's very sticky so now i'm going to take two spoons and I am going to scoop one spoonful of this very sticky batter into one cup of powdered sugar and then I'm going to roll it with my hands into a ball. Because we're using powdered sugar to coat the exterior, it makes it a lot easier to roll it in a ball, so you'll want to make sure you dredge it well. Okay, so I've got my first batch all rolled out. So now I'm going to be baking this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 to 13 minutes. Okay, so once they're done, I'm going to remove them from the oven. And as you can see, they are puffed up. But once you remove them from the oven and allow them to set and cool, they sink in and they cool and get nice and chewy and they literally melt in your mouth. Texturally, this cookie is just so soft and chewy, it's perfect. With this recipe, you can get around 24 cookies. And anytime I make strawberry crinkle cookies, I always think of my nephew when he was younger. He is in college now. I can't believe how fast time flies and I definitely will be sending him a care package with these cookies in it. Okay, so those are super easy to make. And I gotta tell you, I like to make these as a care package. When I send him cookies, he went away for college, so I will be sending him his favorite cookies. But I also like to use these as a cookie for cookie platters. The holidays are coming up, so you better believe I will be making these for a nice holiday cookie platter. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching. Bye.